Pika Labs, a free AI video generator, creates short videos based on your input image, text, or video. Pika 1.0 gives the result with higher quality than before and has added new features. Today I guide you through a detailed tutorial on how to use this tool and gain a deeper insight into its functions and this new update with its cool features. Open the Pika.art website. If you don't have access to this new update, you need to sign up with Google or Discord and join the waitlist. This version is available both on Discord and on the web. It may take a few days or a little longer to receive the email and access it. In this section, we will introduce the features and the parameters that you can use. In the following sections we will create some examples. You can see two sections on the main page of the site. In Explore section, you can see some sample videos. You can see the settings which the video was created with. You can use the prompt and change the result, or use these videos. In My Library section, you can see the videos that you create. You can change the layout of the videos. At the bottom, you can see a box to write a prompt. You can attach your images or videos to use in your generation. From Video Options part, you can change aspect ratio and frame per second. From Motion Control part, you can control the movement of the camera and change the strength of motion that in the beta version we can use as motion or M parameter. From Parameters part, you can add negative prompt. Negative prompt is what you don't want to see in your result. You can add seed number that can help you create consistent generation. When you download the video, you can see seed number in the result name. Also you can see seed number in video generation info. Consistency with the text is a guidance scale in the beta version. This parameter has the ability to affect how Pika aligns with your text prompt. A higher score means a stronger alignment with your prompts. By testing, we can reach the right value for the desired video. Start with low values. If an image or video input was used for video generation, you can see a text at the top left of the video. You can download the video from here. You can delete it from here. You can enlarge the video from this part. By retry button, you can recreate the video with this prompt and settings. Use this button when you are not satisfied with the result. The result will be shown below the video. By pressing reprompt button, the prompt and the settings will appear below, and you can change them and generate new videos. By edit button, you have three options. One, you can edit your prompt and generate the video. Two, by modify region you can select part of the video, remove a part, or add something. And three, by expand canvas you can change the aspect ratio of the video. By pressing three dots, you have two options. By add 4 seconds, your video will be extend by 4 seconds. By pressing add 4 seconds, the video prompt and settings will appear below. Before you expand the video, you can change the prompt and write what you want to happen. By upscale, you can upscale low resolution videos and enhance videos. From this part, you can share your video or copy the link. From this part, you can see the generation info that contains seed number and the parameters that the video was created with them. You can copy text prompt from here. Let's create some samples. First, I want to create a video with text prompt. When you write the prompt, you should describe what you want to exist in the video and what you want to happen based on the video time which is 3 seconds. Add the generation style you want. Write the prompt. Change options and parameters. For better result, add negative prompt. Press generate button and wait. See the result. You can retry and get another result or use another option and edit the video. I want to add a reference image and create a video based on it. I want to use this image. Select the image. Change options and parameters. Press generate button. See the result. If you retry the generation and are not satisfied with the result, try changing options and parameters. To change some parts of your video, press the edit button. Then press modify region. The box will appear on your video. Select the part that you want to edit. Write what you want in the text prompt. I want to add a hat to the child's head. 
From the first frame to the last frame, this part of the video should be in the box. See the result. I want to remove one of the kids in this video. Press edit button. Press modify region. Place the box on the child. Write your text prompt and press the generate button. See the result. I want to change the aspect ratio of this video. Press edit button. Press expand canvas. Select a desired aspect ratio. Press the generate button. See the result. You can upload a video and use it as a reference and change the video result. I want to use this video from Explorer and add a fox to the video instead of a raccoon. Also, you can change the video style. Download the video and copy the prompt. Add the prompt. Upload the video. Edit text prompt. Press modify region and select the part of the video you want to modify. Press generate button. See the result. If the video was helpful, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask us in the comments section below. Share your experience with the new Pika Labs update. Stay with us for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.